Good morning everyone. Today what I thought I was gonna do is film a what I eat in a day, but I am on my period right now. And having like not had periods for a long time and struggling with anorexia, dealing with that has been quite hard um, because I've had so many like cravings come up that I just haven't ever had before. Craving foods that my eating disorder told me for so long like I couldn't have or bad for you or unhealthy. And suddenly like knowing that I really fancied those foods was quite hard, but this time around, I'm doing really well with it. I'm doing very well with actually honoring what I want to eat and accepting that like, okay, I might be fancying things that like society says is like not healthy, but it's healthy for me to eat that because I'm going against my eating disorder. And also just because I'm giving my body what it wants. And like, as I always say, a healthy relationship with food is much healthier than a restrictive diet. So you see. So today is going to be a what I eat in a day, on my period, honouring my cravings, in anorexia recovery, whilst also working around the three things I've got to do today, which is go to college, walk my dog with my friend and go to my boyfriend's um, for the evening for dinner. Also, when I'm on my period, I do get really bad body image, um, which does come part and parcel with anorexia, but especially when I'm on my period, I just feel awful about my body. So eating is then kind of even harder. Today, I'm gonna be overriding all of that, eating what the hell I want. I bring you along just to show you that actually you are allowed to eat what you want, you're allowed to honor your cravings. Let's go get breakfast. For breakfast, I have my mini chocolate Weetabix and a cup of tea, and then after this, I'll get something else because I know this will not fill me up. I feel like sometimes you literally just fancy chocolate in the morning. I'm definitely more of a sweet breakfast person. I pick sweet over savory any day. So, I always have a part two of breakfast. Today I'm gonna have a crumpet. Oh, I might have a crumpet with spread and jam, actually. That sounds good. I love crumpets in the morning. I'm done and I think I'm full so I will see you at snack which will probably be early because I have college today and I've got to work all my meals around it. The timings don't matter obviously. It's just food. Doesn't matter when you eat it as long as you do and you have it regularly enough actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry again. <laughs> It's only like an hour and a half later, but I do have to go to college in a minute anyway, so I was gonna get my snack. I just wanted to talk about the fact that like, I like throughout my recovery, I've really beat myself up for feeling hunger. And my eating disorders kind of told me that like, me feeling hungry or me fancying things is me being greedy. And like, if you're in the same boat, I just wanna tell you that literally it is not greedy or gluttonous or you going out of control or any of those things to want to eat food or to be hungry or to want specific things, whether society says they're like healthy or not. It's not you being bad or greedy or whatever society is like drilled into us. Your body needs fuel and your body knows what it wants. And if you fancy something, then you are allowed to have it. Basically, yeah, I'm gonna go get some yogurt and some granola because my mum's made some granola and I have some vanilla yogurt in the fridge um, and my soda's soat. I'm actually losing my mind. My throat is sore so I'm gonna go and eat yogurt because I think it will soothe my throat. You can see my um lap desk that I've been working at on my bed. I've been doing college work because I'm so studious. Let's go get a snack. I don't know what the hell I was just doing. I just walked around for like five minutes with a spoon in my mouth wondering where my spoon was. <laughs> Right. Oh God, I just sat on B's foot. Sorry, you can see a poor heat. I'm alone right now, just munching my snack. Got it of my own accord, which if you've been following for a while, you know I didn't ever really used to manage to do that. So I've actually got a lot better recently at just being independent and being like, you know what, this is my recovery. I've got to do it for myself. Um, not relying on everyone 24 seven. So that's great. My yogurt and granola is such a solid snack and my mum makes incredible granola. Um, I'll try to leave the recipe in the description if I can. Mm. Look at the size of that. How did I just miss my mouth? Why did I try and put it in when my mouth was shut? <clears throat> I think I'm getting a cold. My throat's kind of sore. It's croaky. I hate colds. They're like an underrated level of annoying. Like, what's the purpose of them, really? Like, what is the purpose? Like, why? Uh, they're just irritating. That 
was really good. Now I've got to go to college and then come back in between to eat lunch and then go back to college and then I meet my friend for a walk and I go over to my boyfriend's for dinner. So it's a busy day, but that was very nice and I guess I'll see you at lunch. I just got back from college and I'm gonna get lunch, which is a bit early, but I'm going back to college at half 12 for another lesson. So I do need to get it early. And like I said earlier, like timings do not matter. I used to focus so much on everything having to be like at the exact time. But honestly, if you're eating when you're hungry or you're eating enough around what you're doing in the day, then it does not matter. Uh, there's no rules to when you should or shouldn't eat. You can't eat too late and you can't eat too early. Like if you're hungry and you're eating, then it's the right thing to do. For lunch, I am gonna have some vegetarian mulgatawny soup. I think I might have butchered that as a name. Um, Mum made like a big batch of it and then we like stuck it in the fridge. So I'm just gonna have some of that. I'm just gonna microwave it. It's like, it's kind of like curry soup. There's like loads of rice in it, it's really good. This won't be all I have, obviously, because that's not enough for lunch. But, um... I'm also weirdly craving less chocolate today, which is interesting. I'm just rolling with it. I'll just eat what my body wants me to eat. If I crave chocolate, I'll eat chocolate. I bet I'll crave chocolate tonight. But yeah. This soup is really good and very wholesome and warming. Um, That was really good. I just cannot figure out what the heck I want as a part two or, you know, the rest of my lunch. I need to get in the what do I want zone. Fancy banana, something else, something sweet. Oh, I'll show you what I found today. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. What are these ones? Oh, hazelnut and the mint Marylands. The mint Marylands are literally incredible. You would not think they would be good, but they taste like mint chocolate chip ice cream and a biscuit. Ah, oh, thank you, mum. Mmm, banana. It's really nice that I'm at a point where I'm just like, food is food, mm. and I just need it when I need it. I'm just gonna eat it. There's no question in my mind now of like, will I eat? It's just like, mmm, what do I fancy? It's lunchtime. What do I go for, the mint ones or the hazelnut ones? One of each. One of each. Mix it up. They're just weirdly really good. I, I, I genuinely don't get why, do you want one? Little green bits in them as well, which probably isn't natural. They shouldn't work, but they do. Oh yeah, now I'm eating the chocolate, I realize I really have been craving chocolate. If you're craving something right now and you have it available, this is your sign to eat it because cravings are not a bad thing. Cravings are very natural. Everyone gets cravings and you deserve to eat things that make you happy or that you fancy. And have hazelnut one as well. Mm. It's weird. I thought I'd get like a Nutella vibe from it, mm. but I'm not. They're all good. I prefer the mint ones. Are you having any more or should I put them away? Um, I don't know. I think I might still be slightly hungry. I'll have another biscuit. <laughs> also, I feel like I haven't really talked on this channel about like the fact that it can be hard when you're in recovery to get your period back. Like not hard to actually get it back, but hard mentally knowing you've got it back. I know I really struggled with that because I was like, oh no, that means I'm healthy now. And my brain obviously took me being healthy as like, oh, I must be fat. And then because of my eating disorder, I had like awful connotations of that. So then I just felt really guilty and bad that I got it back. But I think the way I got over that is like to realize that I want to have my period because I want my body to function. And having my period means that it is doing what it needs to do in that sense. And also means I can have children, which is what I'd always wanted. And I know that's not a motivation for everyone because not everyone does want kids. Oh, my hoodie string's been like tucked like that the whole time. But yeah, just remember that actually it doesn't mean anything about your worth or your weight. It just means that your body's doing what it needs to do. I'm still kind of hungry. Are you feeling biscuits? Sorry. Yeah, I might have another biscuit. You go for that one. Who cares about serving sizes? Not me. I think I'm good now. I will see you for afternoon snack, which I think might be in a cafe, but we'll see because the weather's awful.
I genuinely am scared for my camera's life right now. I don't want it to fall off. I am at boyfriend's house. I'm just having a little snack because I'm really, really, really hungry. Oh, these hula hoops are already open. Do you reckon they'll be okay? Um, I was really craving crisps. They are very much open. Are they soft? They're fine. I don't know if this is a bad idea. I just really need salt. They are a bit soft. That filled a hole. I'm like still really hungry, so I'm gonna eat an apple. I will actually see you at dinner. For dinner, I have a burger, a chicken, what is it? A southern fried chicken burger. Mm -hmm. A southern fried chicken burger, but a vegan one, obviously. And then some chips and then salad. How did I just forget what salad was called? Whoop, little challenge moment. Look at the size of the bun. That's yeah. a massive bun. All good, all good in the hood. I'm just gonna go in no. there. It's not like I haven't eaten a burger before. I'm real hungry. I've done, I've had a very productive day. That's actually really good. This is really good. <laughs> so limp. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this and then I'll see you in a bit. Finished. Whoop. It's all good. It's just normal. Yeah, it's just very normal. Eating a burger. A burger. A burger. A burger. You have nothing to feel bad for. Thank you. I will see you at snack. <laughs> good evening. It is evening snack time. And I am craving chocolate. I'm going to be honest, I am craving chocolate. Can you supply me with some chocolate? <laughs> what do I want? Oh, I don't know. Uh. Read them off. What do you want? We got. Peppermint error. Snack drawer, get a little bit of the limelight. This is the snack drawer, okay? This is little recovery snack drawer Wait, moment. Nice. This is the options. Ooh, Oreos. Milky Way, Snickers, Crunchy. Ah, oh, why do I just really fancy a double decker? It's really double decker. I'm gonna have a double decker. Ooh, bad bitch. And you bad bitches eat Emma. double deckers. Facts. It's been actually a really good day, actually. I've eaten very well. I've actually honoured my cravings a lot today. When I've wanted more, I've eaten more. And now I have a double decker because chocolate is not bad. Chocolate is actually really good. Chocolate gives you serotonin, no? Mm-hmm. So I do, do look like a bit of a state, but it's like 9pm. Why will it not make me focus? So well a moment. Giving my body that fuel. They're so chewy. They're nice though. I went a long time without a double decker. Very tragic time in my life. We can't restrict the deck and take. <laughs> they are so chewy. That was like perfect for like chocolate craving though. What's that? Three different types of chocolate or two? It's like chocolate nougat, no? Nougat? Yeah. Nougat? Nougat. It's, no. It's nougat. There's no. a tea on the end of it, I swear. Yeah, but it's still nougat. Not ha no. Nugget. Nougat. <laughs> nugget. It's not nugget, is it's it? It's nougat. It's nougat. You've been lied to. Look it up. It's I'm nougat. Don't it. It's not going to be nougat, is it? If it isn't, we'll be real embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. In French, it would be nougat. There you go. French. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have taken something from it and it's helped you realise that you are very much allowed to honour your cravings and eat whatever you want. I've had a very good day. I've done very well. I am doing very well. I'm very happy at the minute, having a very good time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, and I will see you all soon. Good night! <laughs>